Once, there was a hitman who was considered the greatest of all time. His name was Tar Sakamoto. All bad guys feared him, all hitmen revered him. But one day, he fell in love. And that is the basic setup for Sakamoto days. Recently there was an announcement that this was going to get an anime adaptation in January next year, 2025. And I got curious, so I picked up the first and the second volumes of it. After that, uh, he retired from being an assassin, got married, had a baby, and he got out of shape. I I'm not about no, fat shaming or anything, it literally says it right there, okay? <laughs> now, po post time skip, we're introduced to one of our side characters. And he says, It's been a while, Mr. Sakamoto. It's Shin, the clairvoyant. And the first thing uh, Sakamoto tries to do is off him. Psych. It's actually a thought bubble, is what Sakamoto was thinking. And some of the comedy in the manga derives from uh, Shin being able to read other people's minds and seeing what kind of messed up stuff Sakamoto wants to do. And that's sometimes, and that is really funny when you're reading the manga. Uh, I, I hope they pull it off in the anime too. Let's see. It's also a very useful skill being able to read other people's minds. I was literally terrified of this power when I was a kid. I was so scared of other people being able to know what I think. Anyway, the reason why Shin is here visiting Sakamoto is because Sakamoto decided to retire and his bosses were like, If you leave the organization, we, we will kill you. I, have, I literally have no idea why they waited so long to kill him, like have a whole family and everything, just to make, maybe to make the not in incentivize leaving the organization or something. Anyway, um, so Shin is sent to kill Sakamoto, but then he goes like, no, I, I, I don't want to do that. Then his bosses come over and it's like, bro, do what our job is. And he and Shin is like, I, I, I don't think I like this job anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, Shin gets captured by, by the organization. Sakamoto saves him. And uh, the manga is... The story, the, the story of the manga is action and comedy, and I think it strikes a n nice balance between them, and uh, it is very charming. So you should probably watch the anime when it comes out, because I know most of the people who are going to watch this don't know how to read. That's it. Bye.